We are all Mass Effect nerds. <laughs> right? All right, here we go. Swapping scenes and now. Oh, God. There we go. Magic. And then I'm going to tell my music to pause. And I want to break the... Oh, that's a good... Yeah, okay, there it goes. I... Yeah. Yep. It's, it's coming. It's coming. It's coming. So, I figured I have something like somebody's multiplayer playing in the background. Hopefully it'll continue to run as we do this debate. So, nice. we have... Th is this the... is someone else's stream or something? Uh, this is somebody's uh, YouTube playlist. This is them oh. playing. So, I don't, I don't know if well, it was on their stream. Well, well, right? If, yeah, yeah, well, if you do have a um, title or Spotify, etc., the soundtracks are there. True. True. Like, I uh, I listen to the soundtracks from the different games I'm playing on Tidal, which I have. Huh. Hey. I'll, have to, I'll have to look into that. Also, everybody, make sure that you're hydrating while I tell my bot to shut the hell up. <laughs> that we're hydrating? Mm-hmm. Hydrating. Hydrating. Oh, forgive... no, that's not what I heard. That's not yeah. what I heard. <laughs> Let me see here. Yeah. For, 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 forgive yeah, chat, forgive just, the nose. Chat, can we just get a hype train going while, the, while we're doing yeah. this? Oh my god, yeah. no. Yeah, no. Yeah, that'd be great. Yeah. <laughs> hey, there, hey, there it is. Wow. Let's get that hype train going. Come on. Oh my god. Well, what? What? We can't hear you, Battle. <laughs> Lols. What oh, let, me, let me put this I'm, up to the top. I've spent there my go. allowance of biddies. Lols. I have. I'm sorry. Otherwise, I'm. No, ready. it's fine. Don't worry about it. I mean, I've already um, been given enough love today. I've got been given eight gift subs from Daku, now 100 bits from Trello. September nice. is a crazy, crazy, crazy month. Yeah, September, I know. Right? September. Also, September. Speaking yeah. of September, real quick, I need to fix something. Trello. You you need you need some stuff. I'm just saying. No, 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 no. 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 I, I, I'm going to do it before you do it. You want to bet? I'm already in the process. They're at it. They're at it again. Complete. Win a winner chicken dinner. By the way, congratulations on your promotion, Trello. For oh, three months you. you're welcome yeah, all right so Did I come with a raise? uh yeah mm -hmm. of zero dollars <laughs> nice. give up this life of crime right rosa <laughs> welcome on in you just caught us starting the debate of the mass effect endings predominantly we're going to be talking about whether what's the ethical yeah, fair warning kids will of be it coming. oh yeah no that's mm. fine <laughs> i am fine with kiddos <laughs> Shit. i I stream at my nice. uncle's place that has like five kids in it. Are you kidding me? <laughs> but we're going to be talking about the ethicalness of each decision that is possible, along with, uh, I don't know, random, <laughs> random shit. We'll figure it out as we go along. But the primary yeah. start will be the ethicalness. So I myself picks uh, synthesis. Will picks control for the most part, and we got destroy for Catrilla, which is actually right. Over there, somewhere. I, I'm, I confuse myself sometimes on the stream. <laughs> so we all do. We all do. I know nothing about this game. I'm just here to, for something to sleep to. Of course, Rosa. If uh, we nice. are able to help push you to sleep through all of our loudness, listen to our dul dulcet tones. Our dulcet tones. That's true. Those music. Dulcet tones. <laughs> Lol. All right. <laughs> so I guess we'll. Uh, we'll. How about you start off with it? Because this was originally your baby. Uh, this, doing this. this was my idea. Okay, well, so yeah, as mentioned, this was, you know, we decided to do this because CO finished his Mass Effect 3 playthrough the other day. On the 360! And, um, on the 360. Not even, not even legend, legendary edition, you scrub. I, you hey, scrub. hey, that's coming, all right? Calm, calm yourself, all right? <laughs> but, um, yeah, we got there, and it was, it, it was that time to, you know, um... Oh, Troll, is there a chance you can mute yourself? <laughs> it's hard to think. Oh, oh yes. It's Thanks. all good. <laughs> um, anyway, Scuff. but uh, so yeah, we got we got uh, we got talking about you know what what end what is the right ending uh, to pick, <laughs> and uh, my my view is very. Um, I, I honestly think that there all is good, really Don't worry only about one it. choice. It's fine. It it can depend on how you've played your shepherd, but basically. 
uh, of the three endings, you've got, yeah, as Sierra was just saying, you've got destroy, synthesize, and control. And we're going to leave, I think, for this debate. Well, we, we could talk about shooting leaving, Star Kid um, in uh, there. Kill the Star Child, re you know, re resist. We're, we're ignoring that because that's not, not a real ending, really. Yeah, it's not really a real um, ending, nor was it but, like given uh, as an ending. If you choose destroy, you're basically committing genocide. Most, I don't think that's going to be in line with most people's shepherds. Um, <laughs> especially if you've come to have relationships with Edie or Legion, if you appreciate the Geth as a sentient species in their own right. So you're not going to do that. Um, then you've got synthesis, synthesis. Now, synthesis, I think it's really put to the player as being the, the correct option because it's, you know, we make everyone the same. There's a big kumbaya. This ends the cycle of violence between synthetics and organics. Um, but there's a huge, there's, there's a couple of huge problems with, with synthesis, and that is that one, you don't kn really know anything about what synthesis is. All you've got is this. Fair, fair. You've got the Star Child, which is basically just a machine that went crazy and is responsible for the deaths of probably trillions upon trillions upon trillions over Fair eons, point. over millennia you know so um all you've got is the word of this this you know thing that um synthesis is a good idea and it's going to fundamentally change all life throughout the galaxy and it's going to do it without the, you any any of that life saying I, I yeah i want this or i don't want this don't do this to me that's not an option so it's forcing that on every life form in the galaxy uh without without any consent um I winter, so then you've got good. control now control he goes well is we'll see you around uh, there, basically you know the, the reaper is saying look you got this far so you know he does have a point trust you to run the system now because you know worry, the system isn't going to work any longer um you've shown that so we you know these are our options we're not sure if these are the right choice but how about you know you just control the reapers now this shepherd has to kind of sacrifice their life and their consciousness gets digitalized or something but uh it, in that scenario you know you've got um you know you've got the reapers are giving their consent to you taking control of them fair okay and, you know you've got to give your consent but you know to, to basically you know to give your life for this basically like, you know shepherd's gonna give their life and be this. safe winter i do but appreciate it's the your only face. ending in which there's any consent now i know there's also the argument against destroy is, uh, sorry against control is that the shepherd's man this. thought that he could control the rapers and that's been a huge part of the story but you know it was his hubris in thinking he could do that that ultimately led to his undoing and nearly the undoing of all humanity and all, yeah. life, and all life in the galaxy that you know was advanced enough advanced to a certain point okay um fair yeah, point so yeah. <laughs> but the difference is i think um that you know if, if it's is, is it hubris for shepherd to to you know to do the same things and think okay well i can control the reapers but you've actually got the reapers you know saying yeah the elusive man could never control us but you know you can't um and i think all of this kind of comes down to taking like all the choices really come down to taking the um the, the star child at their word which i think is yeah pretty bad at the end of the day you're you know i mean after the fact sure we know what each of these things does but shepherd in that moment doesn't really know the outcome of, of any of this um True. so i really think that at the end of the day mostly you don't want to you probably don't want to commit genocide now the cap the the, the exception to that is if you've played a particularly deranged shepherd <laughs> Renegade. but yeah you don't want to commit genocide um you don't want to inflict this choice on all these people throughout the galaxy without their consent. You're fundamentally changing who and what they are without really knowing what it's going to do to them. 
without them having any say in it is that's that's wrong that is just wrong so control control is the the only choice left to you or shoot the star kid and let the universe fly <laughs> or whatever, but yeah, we can all agree that's not the right choice anyway so that's it that that's my spiel that that is the crux of my argument yes all very fair points uh cello yeah. would you like to do the destroy yeah i can do that like first off um back in the day when uh, mass effect 3 just got out and i think the major disappointment of the ending i was just like what the fuck is this so yes I very went to youtube and yeah. i found the whole uh, indoctrination theory videos oh uh, those yep if you have seen them that shepherd's indoctrinated yeah well both yes and no uh that he is close to being indoctrinated and but depending on your choices in the end will determine whether or not you go through with the indoctrination or that you're fighting it which is one of the like main uh what's that word um things that would speak for the story ending um mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah i, I remember the, that the, 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 yeah this is what you have worked towards in all three games destroying the reapers ending the threat um also the destroy ending is the only ending where we see shepherd breathe at the end of it that is a very and true, I'm, true, true i am very much for that my shepherd fucking lives <laughs> <laughs> i mean we I all care. want that that shepherd live mm. so so actually i don't have that many uh pros and cons that's the word uh for either ending but i think yeah as you said the uh, the synthesis is, uh, <laughs> is very non-consensual for the rest of the uni universe and just seems mm -hmm. like that you are um what's that word again holy fuck it's early in the morning um, <laughs> it's all good uh that you are trying to yeah, you, you, you essentially do what the Reapers want with the synthesis ending. Uh, and with the mm -hmm. control, it's... <sighs> Can the controlling the Reapers work in the long run? Who God knows? Like, also, yeah. will like any of the endings, will they work in the long run? Are there yeah. more Reapers yeah. out, way out in dark space that it's not affected by the destroy or the synthesis or the control? True. Very and that's true like, point. we don't really, yeah, we don't really know like we're presented with just three choices but we don't know really that much about them yeah what are the consequences both yeah. short term and long term yeah yeah uh, but agree. yeah i'm i'm i think the main reason that i'm pro destroy is mainly because shepherd lives in the end and there are also which there's the focus upon in the indoctrination videos that i think if you choose the control ending you see the star child smiling or smirking just before he disappears. I can't remember if he does that in oh. the synthesis, but in the destroy ending, he like flickers away because he is destroyed. Hmm. True. Mm. Uh -huh. There you go. True. <laughs> but yeah, Shepard mm. lives. <laughs> Very true. Well, Shepard yes. lives. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Forgive me, yeah. I'm also doing some stuff in the background as well because I probably should have done this beforehand. Alright, so for synthesis, in my opinion, is the probably the most Again, this is all depending on player style, but to me Of course. Uh Synthesis just allows people to the player to not only end the war, but to save everybody with destroy you kill all synthetics including Edie, but yeah and that it just it doesn't end well for everybody with control yes you could control the reapers but the question is how long will shepherd's consciousness be able to hold out we're talking about an immortality essentially in a digitized somewhat non-corporeal form essentially how long can a human soul withstand eons and eons of time passing by whereas i see with synthesis it i like to think of it this way shepherd is sacrificing their life um 
in order to push the civilization of the Mass Effect universe to the next step in the evolution process, as well as, and this is my thinking on it, giving the Reapers essentially what it means to be what we are, or the reasons why they stood up against the Reapers, why humanity and the Turians, Solarians, Asari, Krogan, all of them came together and said, nah, go fuck yourself. We don't want you to do this to us. Shepard, I think, in her fi in their final moment, gives that to the Reapers in synthesis, because you're combining both synthetic and organic life together, so there has to be some sort of way to be like, okay, this is why I'm doing this, and share that knowledge to everyone. Because, or else, how would how else would the Reapers back off in the synthesis ending? Why would they back off? At this point, they are the same as... The only reason why they would back off is because they are now the same as everybody else in regards to being both synthetic and organic at the same time. So what other reason does the Reapers have to back off? I'm thinking that some sort of part, some parts of Shepard of the reason why they and the rest of the galaxy were fighting against the Reapers were transferred into the Reapers and into the Catalyst, aka Starchild, which caused the Reapers to withdraw from attacking anymore and pretty much assisting and kind of like figuring out what it means to be Shinchan again. So that's my thought process on synthesis. Yes, you are forcing something onto the entire galaxy. Not just the Reapers, but everybody. So I can see why that would be like very unethical because you don't have the consent of everybody to do this. But at the end of the day, would you rather in that moment save everybody that you have fought side by side with the synthet both synthetic and organic lose the synthetic or potentially lose your soul to the passage of time as being in control of the reapers synthesis doesn't make you have to survive those eons you give yourself everybody becomes one and uh, an understanding starts to grow I think Like yeah, very right. fair, very, very valid points. Very, Again, very, yeah, very, very. I fair. think that's the problem with all three endings: is that they're <laughs> valid points for all endings. Exactly, and, and it, it all really depends is. on what kind of player you are. And sometimes exactly. it also, mm. yeah, you 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 are kind of like cheated with the color scheme of it because you're like, oh no, destroy ending. That's red. That's red. Yeah, ending. that that. I'm not gonna choose yeah. that because it's Paragon. Yeah. That's that also wasn't exactly the bestest of calls by yeah. EA and Bioware, yeah. but in all honesty, I can see why they would pick those colors, especially for the two primary endings, because unless you get that asset readiness up to, like, top tier level, you're only going to have those two options. So I think the reason why they decided to pick those two is because you think red, danger, boom, death. Um, sure. In the world of firearms, if you see red, it's dead. You're... It, Red is dead. And also, welcome in, Shots. Red How you doing? Dead. Whereas, blue... Blue has been kind of a mainstay of power, like, with biotics. Biotics have a very blue tint to them. I mean, they do... Ha they mainly are purple, but they do have a blue tint to them. Mm. So, that could be in relation to biotics. Because you also got to think, Protheans use the beacon. How are you going to transfer that without... That was kind of green, right? Yeah, but... <laughs> yeah. But with the understanding of... The, with the very limited understanding that we have of biotics, how were they able to transfer the knowledge from the beacon to Shepard's head and to Saren's head? Biotic oh. energy. Was it... Yeah. Was it biotic what, energy? It, that, that would Did be the best guess. Did you do that? Because... I don't know. We biotic, don't know. Well, it's supposed to manipulate gravity fields. I don't know if that's... Maybe. 
I, I don't know. It, it's just, I'm d doing shot in the dark here. But also, blue just equals purity as well. Because you just see that pure blue, almost white light. You're purifying yourself of the body. And you only have the soul. Also, Will, I think your cam died or something. Or did I lose everything? Wouldn't surprise me. Hold up. Uh. Oh, I might have lost something. Stand by, chat. Is it? Oh, Team Bureau, go away. Cello, can you hear me? I just want to verify it's not just me. 